If you're not cool, I'm not walking with you. Sir? Come on, come on. Lock to that deputy rather. Keep your hands where I can see him. All the way to that deputy. You're going to make the left of the deputy's out. Thank you. Thank you. Try to relax, everyone. Try to relax. I'll take a bullet before you do. That's for damn sure. Just be cool, okay? Go, go, go. I'll tell you that it was something that, although we train for it, it's something that you're never actually prepared for. When we got the call, I oversee dispatch. It's one of my uh, functions and responsibilities as, uh, with the police department. And I know my dispatchers. I know, I know the tone of their voice. I know the severity of calls as they're going out. And I could hear it in our dispatcher's voice that this was, this was actually happening. This was a real event. And it was the event that you know, we have an active shooter and we have an active shooter going on in our city. And I was nearby. Uh, I was uh, less than a mile away. And I started coming this way as we entered uh, into the conference room. Uh, the, the situation was surreal. Uh, it was something that I don't think that, again, we prepared for. And they tried to, an active shooter, we talk about sensory overload. They just try to throw everything at you to prepare you for dealing with that. What you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're smelling, um, and it was all of that and more. Um, it was unspeakable uh, the carnage that we were seeing, the number of people who were injured and unfortunately already dead, and the pure panic on the face of those individuals that were still in need and needing to be safe.